I just wanted to let you know that I talked to Jeannie last night and yeah. she told me that she was going to press charges against you, Donnie. So, sure. Yeah, so I wanted to let you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I don't know, Donnie. She just told me that when, you know, when we heard that Summer went missing, that everything came back to her because she was five years old at the time it started. And Summer is five years old, so she just... Yeah, she ain't maybe. taking no blame in her part, though, but she yeah, did. Yeah, but Donnie, she was five. How could she take the blame? I mean, a five-year-old... Oh, of course not. She ain't going to know shit. She ain't going to take no blame to nothing. Well, I don't I mean, know. she's coming... Me everyone and welcome how are you all doing today I hope you're doing great and welcome to our channel and of course if you're new hi and if you're returning thank you so much that we do appreciate you coming to our channel and here on our channel you will find us exploring unknown mysteries crimes unsolved cases and more if you haven't already, I would highly recommend to hit the like and the subscribe and the bell to get notified of more of those kinds of videos yet to come. We do it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I just want to say thank you guys for your continued support of our channel and viewing and watching our videos because without you guys, we just wouldn't be here making any of them. I do want to say also, please excuse the noise in the back. We are having a thunderstorm. Now, as you can see uh, with the description, this is regarding the Summer Ross case. I just kind of want to go over what's been happening. First of all, there are lots of good-hearted people trying to bring Summer home, just like all of us want. However, sometimes trying helping could hinder the process with tips that are not reliable. Now, it's been since June 15th of 2021 that Summer has been missing and still no word on the progress of the case. Summer's case has captured worldwide attention. Somebody has to know something about what happened to her just getting them to come forward. Now, the TBI has said that they have received over 1,200 tips on Summerwell's whereabouts. As to date, she is still missing and her whereabouts is still unknown. Everyone is waiting for a big break in the Summerwell's case. And now, they have a reward that is currently over 37 thousand dollars for any information on summer 
Now, just to have any reliable tips to find her with media attention, good people that are trying to help are sending the law enforcement tips. As the officials from the TBI have confirmed that they are not using any psychics to find Summer, there has been rumor spreading around the media on this. We all want Summer home safely, even though the longer she's gone, the more we know the danger she's in. We all know that when a child does come up missing, the parents are the first suspects in any case, and Summer's case is no exception in that. Dawn has posted, for some reason, a video of Chris McDonoghue interviewing a child around 14 that it might have been done in retaliation from the interview room Chris had done. That is unconfirmed. There was a phone conversation, was about, uh, about a week ago, from Mary Dawn's stepsister in regards of Jeannie and someone else that they were going to press charges on Dawn. When Summer came up missing, this might have triggered, it might have come back to her memory in Jeannie from when she was five years old, just a little girl, that Dawn had molested her. In this conversation with Mary, Mary said to Dawn that they will expedite Dawn back to Utah. And Dawn said that he will take a lie detector test to prove his innocence. I will play a clip of what he said. I will also have a link down below in the description. So if you'd like to listen to the whole video call that took place. Now, a warning in this video call. It might be disturbing to some viewers. So discretion is advised. He was playing a little house or whatever when we were kids. Yeah. And they think she's full of shit, man. She should be worried about, actually worried about Summer. Instead of trying to paint me as some kind of a monster that I'm not. I love my kids. Yeah. I love everybody. Right. Just because I made a mistake when I was a kid, you know, a little mistake. Yeah. Or whatever, you know. Now she's trying to paint me into this freaking horrific monster and just, oh, poor me, poor me. Shit. And if I hadn't uh, mustered up the strength to get up off the damn floor because they were holding me down, I, and I ran into mom and dad's bedroom and then they, they left. They took off. They were gone. You know, and then when Randy came home with Ross. You like, sure I was there? Well, yeah, you yeah. Sure I was there? Yeah, but you guys were getting oh, you think about her and high and Yeah, so I'm Well, so yeah, I know, yeah, I know, yeah, I, I don't right, deny okay, it at man, all, right? Is, man, this is old bullshit, man. It, it, is, it is old, Donnie, it's very old. Don't she come out here, get off her fat fucking ass, and come out here and help us search instead of sitting there causing us problems? Yeah. Tell that fucking bitch. Tell that fucking bitch to come out here and help us search instead of running her big, big fat fucking mouth. Right. Trish and her. Yeah. And cause them problems. Tell her to come out here. She loves Summer so bad and thinks about her so bad and all that bullshit. Tell her to get her fucked for fat ass and come out here and help us search. Yeah, I Does she really tell fucking her. give a fuck about anything? And if she cared about Summer, she'd care about her dad. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. Yeah. Because Summer loves me, man. Y'all don't fucking understand. Everybody thinks they, oh, poor Summer, poor Summer. Well, Summer loves her fucking daddy. Well, I, I know. Promise I, you that. I, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does, Donnie. Well, I know she fucking yeah. does. Yeah, I'm sure she does, Donnie. I, I know yeah. she does. You know, I'm not she saying that. She don't give a fuck about all you motherfuckers, Jeannie and all them fucking bitches. Don did admit on the call with Mary about Jeannie and him that they just played around sexually and it was all her, that she had started it at age five years old and he was, I guess, 14. What he did say is that they were just playing house. He stated that he was underage at the time also. 
This is an eye-opener, at least for me, about Don's character. You see, in the media, he acts like a really good Christian, and you know, it just, it just seems to me that this might be a facade, that this is who Don is. He has such drama in his family life. But however, this video call really did show to me his true colors. I understand that the boys are probably in a better place due to some are missing and no signs of her whereabouts and all. Now the agents at the TBI say that Summer's case is still ongoing for now and has not become a cold case yet. They still have an Amber Alert for Summer as well. Every week the church has a prayer circle for Summer and other missing children and it's being held by the event organizer, Jesse. There has been rumors saying that the Toyota truck has been found. That is not the case. In fact, the agents of TBI are still looking for that Toyota truck that has been seen that day that Summer had gone missing and has still not been located, nor who was driving it or why they were there. Now, as with any unsolved cases, the agents will not disclose any information on what progress they have. All they're saying is it's been scaled back for now, but it's still ongoing. Sheriff Ronnie Lawson stated that everyone is a suspect and a person of interest in Summerwell's case. Also, Ronnie Lawson wanted to address many concerns brought up by many people, good-hearted people, that they think that the case had ended, but he said it is not. Now with this new phone conversation that Donald had with Mary, we're not sure what's gonna be going on with that or if anything is gonna be done or if he is gonna to go to jail or be prosecuted. But I will keep you guys updated for sure on this case and Summer's case. I just want to know, do you think he's going to be going to jail because he molested her years ago? Do you think that he maybe had molested Summer and then killed her? Tell me in the comments, guys. Well, it looks like our storm has passed for now. I will let you guys go. See you in my next video. Bye.